Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. It's BMW Dr. Dean here. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to change the front and rear brake pads and discs on the BMW E60. This also relates to BMW E61, E63, and possibly the E65. I'm also gonna be showing you how to change the rear ones as well, and also how to adjust your handbrake on the, once the rear discs are off. But the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get the locking wheel nut, and we're gonna remove all the bolts, as you can see at the rear here there's five of them one's a locking wheel nut and we're going to jack the car up and get the wheels off and once we've done that then i'm going to show you what you have to do to remove the discs and obviously the caliper and the, ca and the carrier bracket so as you can see the wheel is now off on the rear now we're going to go ahead and remove the caliper you're going to have to take off this circlip here that holds the brake pads and the caliper together so they don't rattle around also you're going to want to take the bolts out the back here which are underneath here and also the brake pad wear sensor which is running right here after that's disconnected then the caliper will come off like so you just want to push the brake pads in with a flathead screwdriver to loosen them up so you can take the caliper off then you're going to want to undo the nut here allen key nut to take the disc off once you've got the disc off you'll gain access to the brake pad shoes and then we're going to readjust them so once we've done that i'll be back to tell you what to do next There'll be two seven mil allen sockets as you can see here that go on the back here and you just unloosen them bolts like like so and then the whole caliper will come off after you've took the caliper off you want to then take off the carrier as well you, take caps off first. you need to take the caps off as well which is sitting right here so you're going to need to take these off as well which will be right here over over on the caliper okay. so the caliper's off as you can see now next one is going to be the caliper's carrier which is right here the two bolts here are going to be probably i think they're 17 mil on the back two you're going to need to take them off two bolts here and the carrier will come off then you have to take this allen key bolt out which is just down here on a brake disc can be anywhere depending on the position of the wheel and then after that's out the disc will just actually just slide straight out and then you've got access to the brake shoes okay so the carrier bolts are actually an 18 mil not a 17 mil socket so that's for a future reference they're an 18 mil. Right, so as you can see here's the brake shoes and now what we're going to really do is put the new disc on and then we're going to readjust the brake shoes because as if my handbrake is not sitting properly it's doing more than four clicks and obviously i need this done for mot so obviously it needs to be readjusted properly to the correct level otherwise it will fail the mot based on the maximum efficiency threshold okay guys so as you can see the brake the, the new brake this is back on the calipers back on the new pads are on now and obviously the handbrake's now been readjusted now what we're going to do is we're going to hardwire the sensor as the sensor broke so we're going to be hardwiring this one and just rigging it together so that way it doesn't trigger the brake warning light on the car or any of the AB, abs lights so what you're going to do is cut this connector off then just hardwire the two wires together and then just sling it out the way wherever you want to put it possible and obviously after this one now we're going to move around to the other rear side which i'm I'm not going to show you because it's just the same as this one fitting is the reversal of what it was put the 80 mil sockets back on the carrier put the caliper back on spread the piston push it back put the brake pads on and then just bolt it back up with the seven mil um allen key and then that's that's that done guys as you can see now we've got the other brake disc off on the rear now i'm just going to show you down here quickly i don't know if you can see that but the adjuster for the handbrake to adjust the shoes is right there um so what you have to do is turn this the hub and get this screw or any of them in line with that adjuster right here now i'm just showing you for reference so you lot can see where the adjuster actually is um as i didn't show you on the last one but so now you do not know you don't have to take the brake this off to get to the adjuster just shine the torch and then the adjuster sits right down here again i'm just going to show you just so you can clearly see it and obviously it's the same for the other side they both sit down here and obviously you turn them up to um tighten and down to unloosen, or I think it's down to unloosen actually, sorry, that up to unloosen. But there you go guys, that's that one, which I'm showing you for the handbrake. And now I'm gonna show you once the new disc is back on, new pad. Now we're gonna be, as you can see, removing the front wheel and we're gonna get the front wheel off and then we're gonna start getting the caliper off on this one, which is the front side now. And we're also gonna remove the brake disc on this one. Now this is the side that come up on the MOT as an advisory. This is also the side that's pitted, scored, and the brake disc, the brake disc are completely knackered and i think the brake pads are completely worn out so we're going to be taking them off and finding out why these come up on the mot and see how bad they actually really are um, bmw put them on their report as well saying they're really in bad shape and they needed changing so let's see how bad they really are and how bad the dealer actually thought they okay, were guys so as you can see the brake discs are here for the front and obviously they look quite bad and scored and scratched up um i'm not too sure on the brake pads but they don't feel too good either they feel quite weak and 
they were very flat as well. So what you're gonna wanna do is obviously when you before you take this off, you're gonna wanna turn the steering wheel towards the caliper way so you can see the bolts, because obviously you cannot see the bolts from this angle. So you're gonna wanna turn the steering wheel towards, obviously my side will be driver's side, but if you're in America, it will be towards your passenger side. Um, so you can see the bolts on this side. You don't want the caliper turned this way round. So the, this part is facing there. You want it, there, so this part comes out towards this way. So the bolts sit behind here. I think they're gonna still be a seven miller, millimeter Allen, Allen bolt and you're going to want to remove them bolt uh, caps and then remove the bolts and then obviously the caliper will come off then you want to take off the, ca the, the carrier as well once the carrier is off brake this comes off as well so we're back once i get that um removed and once i turn right, the steering so wheel. as you can see we're back now and the wheel is now back on the car the brake this is all fully nice and shiny now as you can see the old ones are quite actually bad they had textile brake pads on which I've, i have reason to believe that's probably why the person never replaced them because they're so expensive um and they probably wanted the same ones and they don't want to have to spend that type of money again on a car they weren't going to keep um but as you can see now all the brake discs are shiny pads are nice and good um and as you can see the same for the rear the rear one's all on a shiny handbrake's been adjusted it's perfect now we're just i'm just doing the other side as we speak when we do the other side as well just walk you around we're going to be getting this wheel off now and obviously that will, that break this quite a very scored as well and obviously the pads will be probably the same probably faded but we're gonna i want to check if they're faded differently to the others because if they are it means one of the calipers are sticking so i'm going to be checking them when we get this wheel off and seeing if they're they're the same even where if not then i'm gonna have to probably change one of my calipers as well we'll be back after i get this wheel off okay guys so as you can see the brake discs are now back on um on the now driver side as you can see how shiny they are the new pads are fitted as well which are got full meat on them now um i'm very happy with it as it's come out very good i didn't have to change the brake pad sensors because they wasn't even worn so i just changed them because i knew they were bad anyway from the last mot so now they've all been changed i'm gonna now put the wheel back on and then i'm gonna pump the brakes take this out for a bit and let the brakes bed in test the handbrake and then we're gonna be going off for mot and we're gonna see if this car now passes mot straight away without the need of needing anything else so I'll be back when I go to the MOT station to let you guys know how it went and we'll record it and see how, if the car passes. Okay guys, so we've just come back from the MOT inspection as you lot call it in the US and it's not such great news. Um, the car passed on literally everything. There was brakes, tires, emissions, no oil leaks, ball joints where I'd replaced everything on this car to pass. Unfortunately, the local garage which namely quick fit um i was expecting them to fail me on a lot more than what they did um the car failed mot and obviously the, my car the 60 is now out of mot from today and now we're going to be stuck until monday until i can get it sorted now in this country we have 10 days to repair the problem and get it retested for free and obviously because it's a visual inspection they will um check it and redo it for free and because obviously the problems arise so quick i need to have it done by the garage asap to fulfill to get my mot done because obviously as you know these six ones off the road so i don't have another car at the moment to use this is the only car i do have so i'm just going to show you quickly what um they failed us on so they failed us on the brake brake lines brake pipes corroded now this wasn't on the, on, a, on the advisory um last year but it's saying slightly corroded. Now we're showing as excessively corroded. They did say monitor repair covered in grease on next lot. But they're still the ones for there. So they're going to repair them all anyway. These ones need to repair him. Um, obviously they could have gave an advisory. But they chose not to. I would rather them not. Because they are quite corroded. And then I've heard things of people's brake lines blowing. And then causing a load of problems where their brakes give up. I don't fancy that in the slightest. So it was easier that they failed me for it. And let me get it sorted. I am going to be having it sorted by them because the price isn't that much. It's only £100 to have the brake lines redone, which isn't really expensive when you consider, when you, when you factor in it's BMW, which I think in America is about $140 to have it done. Um, also, you'll see here, this is BMW's visual check sheet. Now, as you can see, they call it a visual, a visual check only. Well, that's what MOT is here and so is inspection. It's only a visual check. Now, when it failed on MOT, I rang them and asked them 
why they ticked off that everything was okay. Now, if you will see here on the next page, I believe it is. Um, let me just find it. It's somewhere around here. Oh, yeah. It's on this side here. So, as you can see, they check front brakes and they actually marked them, which I knew they were bad. And they actually quoted me on the price, as you can see there. So, they quoted me and they also um, get told me the front brake bad. So, that was they were checking that visually and that was okay. But they also ticked that the check lines, cables and hoses under the car and they marked them as okay now that was only literally two weeks ago then i go for mot and it's excessively corroded now if bmw had told me this in the start that this was happening i would have then got this repaired before them but obviously because they've let me know too late and didn't mark it there needing urgent repair i've left it and gone to mot thinking the car would pass so therefore i've called bmw um yesterday when the car failed MOT and now I'm waiting for the manager to get back to me and I'm believing that they're going to pay up for this bill because their their technicians signed everything off as okay now as you can see they were quick enough to say about the brake discs needed changing rear brake discs and rear brake pads they as you see they do the millimeter and measure them but the guy tried to tell me they only do a visual check well that's what an MOT is they only visually check it they don't go and pull the brake lines and test them so it's the same thing and they would have seen that because they're right in the car and they're completely visible, the brake lines. But they marked them off as okay, which doesn't make them good in the slightest. And obviously, they've seen that because they've got a copy of this report on their system. And as you can see, everything else is fine, but that's because everything else is fine, which I know about. All the lights work and everything else passed. But they could have at least put on there that this was an with an X or a danger like they did on the front brake back, front brake brakes, as you can see here. And they've marked it saying that they need changing and even quoted me the price. But yet they didn't quote me for the lines. They said they were okay. But they're not okay. So now I'm waiting for a call back, which they should call back any time this week. Um, and I'm going to see if they're going to fork out for the repair bill of the car. Because obviously they marked it off as okay and they've cost me to have my MOT fail when it could have passed if they gave me enough warning. So therefore I've took it to MOT. My car's now run out of MOT and it's based on them now. As you can see, that's a failure sheet. But this will be getting retested. As you can see, it passed everything on emissions. That was the brakes. As you see, we've only just done all the brakes, so they were fine. It passed on the parking efficiency. So, and everything else on the handbrake. But as the guy said, it's a little, because they're still new, they haven't bedded in properly, but it all passed everything. Emissions, it passed as well. It passed all the emissions, which means obviously it's not burning oil. The cooling fan cut in at the right time. Engine speed measurement bypassed, so that everything passed on the on the emissions as well which i'm very happy with this whole car flew past this mot obviously what's not so good is now i'm left without a car we have got other videos coming up with the e61 has now received some of the parts um obviously i we will be doing a review video based on when this car does pass and when the brake lines are being sorted i did try to recall the mot they wouldn't let me they told me i couldn't record it and this is due to why because other mot testers might comment saying that was wrong they're not good but there will be a picture in the description um, above hit, so above the brake, where I'm speaking about the brake lines, you'll see the picture pop up and you'll see what they failed me on as I took photos of it. And because I needed to take it for BMW, which I'll be posting in this video to show you guys as well what they failed me on and how bad they were. Uh, I would like to hear from your comments to tell me if you think that's severe, um, if you've ever been passed with brake lines like that. Obviously, I'm, it's different in different places, but I know um, here... Where I'm living now, if this was in London, they probably would have passed it. But then I'm thinking of my safety in this car. If they had passed it and that brake line exploded, which I was speaking to a guy only last week, and he's got an E60 of 550i, and his brake lines exploded and he lost all power on the brakes. So I would rather them fail me for that and get it repaired than it end up exploding on me on the motorway, as I do a lot of 1,200 mile trips a month on this car. So thanks for watching, guys. Anyway, um, I would like to hear you about what you think about it anyway please like share and subscribe this video um i hope the brakes are going to help someone greatly because it does go into detail on how to change them i didn't really record every step of it as my hands were covered in grease and i was trying to just grab it when i could to take photos of the of the video clips to show you what to remove and how to change it but i hope it does help you thanks for watching guys it's bmw dr dean here and goodbye <laughs>